Well guys, we are back with a, another heirloom unboxing video. That's right, we just keep keep doing these. Uh, I think this time the elect collection event is called Awakening. We have 24 packs to open, and of course, at the very end, we'll get this sick Valkyrie heirloom. All right, we got the coins. Let's buy these. So uh, while I'm buying these packs, um, obviously there is a new patch that came with this event with uh, Control being back in the playlist and a bunch of weapon and legend balance updates, I believe. So uh, we're going to be taking a look uh, at those. But for now, I figured we just start with the uh, pack openings just so we can look at the cosmetics as well as that sweet, sweet heirloom. First one. So I haven't, besides the trailer, I haven't like flip through these to see what they look like so some of this might be repeat for y'all but to me like this gibraltar skin I haven't seen this one jesus golden guard so i had golden guard and now it's called chrome dome that's not a bad epic skin honestly i, li I like the newer epic skins as opposed to the uh, original when apex first came out the epic skins were not they were not it certainly have improved oh here we go is this this isn't a, is this one of the event skins? I feel like this chappy, the chappy skin came out before. Bad bot. Beamed. And a uh, new cow skin. All right. Yeah, I feel like that chappy skin. I feel like, I feel like Pathfinder already had a chappy skin. I don't know. Definitely, he definitely has another uh, bandana skin though, for sure. More new castle skins. These look very alike. Sorry, I know this. these are just rares, but Oh, I see. The, the the pants pattern is different. Jeez, these are like... In my opinion, like a little too similar. Like, what? Let's take a look at this uh, Prowler skin here. Broodbuster. Too bad the Prowler sucks now. I know, everyone likes the burst. Well, everyone thought the burst was too strong, but I never liked the burst mode. I, I always liked it with the uh, full auto. Butterfly Barrage, very nice Bangalore skin, or um, emote rather, we'll, we'll throw that on. My favorite Bangalore skin though, I know they'll always be releasing new skins, but I gotta say, I think my favorite of all time is probably gonna be that uh, superhero one. Alright, nice skin, tip the scales. Uh, pretty nice skin, uh, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to stick with whatever I got now, because... They don't really quite make the new R99 skins with pay to win iron sights anymore, and it does make a pretty big difference. Adam Hart's mother. I do like this horizon one, the cool little cool little visor, you know, the overall uh, design looks pretty nice. We'll throw that on. Another legendary, very cool, very cool. So this is so this is a skydive emote for Seer. But then we have this. New castle finisher. Oh, so this is just like a regular legendary, I think. I don't think this is event related. Very nice. Another legendary. Let's take a look. Uh, the Mad Maggie, Mad Maggie non-state actor. Okay, so this is a skin I can get behind. I do love the, uh, the tats. I guess it's a callback to, um, oh, I'm going to butcher which, uh, culture or ethnicity this is <laughs> going back. This is referencing to, but I do, I do like the tats, the little, uh, the, the, the art and the skin looks pretty nice too. We're going to put this on. I think this might be my favorite Maggie skin, honestly. Uh, Pathfinder tracker, yeah, let's do it. Let's 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 put it on Apex damage. There you go. I believe that is part of a set, so we're gonna have to go back and combine those sets together, the pieces together. Rampart skin, Limit Breaker, very cool, very Power Rangersy, I guess, right? Very pink as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and equip that. <coughs> I'm getting a lot of legendaries this pull. I know we are guaranteed like 12 legendaries, but we are getting like double, <laughs> double legendaries, right? Lombo skin, supreme lethal. We'll put that on. And this one, what is this one? Ah, uh, I, wow, I don't have this one? This is like an OG Bloodhound finisher. Jesus, all right, we'll throw that on. Kind of, I'm kind of surprised I don't have that one. 
Ah, uh, the ash. Uh, existential threat. Her skins, I mean, I like her skins, but they all look very similar, you know? She's always got the mask on or something. Visor. Pretty cool, though. I mean, it's, it's kind of like the similar theme of the other uh, ash skins we've seen. Kind of the edgy assassin kind of thing going. Wraith counter short. I don't think I'm... I need to go back and put all these on. 13 packs remaining. Uh, let's take a look at what this one has. Banner frame. Before that, let's take a, this, let's take a look at this. Master of Underwater Love. I think I like Tombstick the most. Tombstick is that gold one. Uh, this one's nice, but I'm going to have to stick with Tombstick on this one. Let's take a look here. Watson Lightning in a Bottle. Is this... Has this always been the game? I'm assuming it has. Maybe it's in a button one. I don't, I don't even know. Meow, meow, meow. We got a working the angles. I, I bet you you could like line this up with the Bangalore one that we saw earlier and kind of have a funny interaction, right? Because you can kind of see Newcastle like um, posturing here, you know? Like I bet that's when like Bangalore like misses or something. If you line them up properly, it'd be kind of cool. We, we may have to do that in game to try out. All right, Let's see what this legendary is gonna be. Ooh, Peacekeeper's Gate, Hardball. I like it. I like the I like the, I like the blue with the gold accents. Very nice. I think I have Frostbite uh, equipped currently, but we'll we'll give this one a shot. Pretty nice. PK is pretty nuts this season as well. Pretty consistent. And, uh... Alright, green Power Ranger Seer. I think this was my favorite Power Ranger back in the day. Oh, okay, not Power Ranger, but the uh, OG Japanese equivalent. Jesus, someone help me. Is it Power Ranger? I guess it is. I guess it would be Power Ranger. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the original one was called. Uh, banner frames. Great. What banner frame is this for? Fuse? Cool. Put that on. Alright. Speaking of fuse, we do have animal instinct. I think I still like Bro Sidon the most. The only complaint I have about these skins, really, is as awesome as they are, I wish, like, the ability... Like, for example, this cannon... When you have it, uh, first person mode, you bring it out, I don't... Unless they changed it, it doesn't show this skin. It shows the, the base skin. Though in, um... In, uh, what do you call it? In skydive emotes, I believe it uses the skins model, which is kind of cool. But I would love to see it in first person. Uh, cool banner frame for Seer, but... Let's take a look at this one. Ah, uh, Ashes. A wee bit of betrayal. Dang. Cold. That is cold, Ash. You're, you are cold. Cold as space. Cold as a cold embrace of space. Outer space, one may add. One may say. Uh, this is Car. Ooh, Heaven Piercer Legendary. So, I have a thing for pastel colors. And the car seems to be getting a lot of pastel skins. I love the little emblem here too. It reminds me of like old like um, Power Ranger toys or uh, Transformer toys. They always have the, like, the little emblem on it, you know? From my childhood. I do like that. Very nice. Excellent skin. The car is quite nasty too as a gun, so I'm glad, I'm glad, it, ha I'm glad it has a legendary skin. Uh, Rampage, I'm assuming. Yeah, Black Rain on the Rampage. The Rampage, I mean... I th there's another one that I really liked, uh, but this one looks a lot like the other one that came out last event. Like, the whole, like, gunmetal black kind of theme. But there is one that's, like, Dragon Slayer or something. It looked like a skin out of, uh, Overwatch. Or, like, the like a D.Va weapon. Like, a D.Va's kind of, like, skin palette. Or skin palette? Color palette? This one's okay. I think I would stick with the other one that I have that I'm talking about. Maybe I'll show you guys it at the end of the video what I'm talking about. Um, all right, got a seer skin. I'm assuming this is one of the base ones. I like the other one more, the green Power Ranger one, so we're gonna keep that. Uh, L Star, that's that's cool, but yeah, we'll, we'll throw it on whatever. 
three more packs remaining, and then after that we get the heirloom. So, pretty nice. We are getting a ridiculous amount of stuff here, so. Mm. This Loba skin. I saw a lot of this on social media. It is kind of weird, dude. It is kind of weird. I don't know. I like it. It is really cool, very unique. It's kind of weird, though. I mean, you, you, you gotta admit, it's a little bit weird. Uh, crypto drone EMP kills, or well, the shield damage, rather. Two more packs. And, uh... <clears throat> I'll go ahead and open this. Uh, Volt, I'm assuming? No, Hemlock, okay. Unsung. Ooh. That's pretty nice. We'll throw that on. Hemlock gets a lot of cool skins. He gets a lot of skins in general. We need more flatlines. Actually... Dude, what is this? Okay. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, I'm confused. Why, why did I open three legendary Apex coins? Is that like part of the deal? Did I just like not notice that as like part of the thing? What? Oh wait, I need one more pack remaining? Wait, what's going on? There we go. Why- why did it give me Apex coins? <laughs> or, um, yeah, why, why did it give me the Apex coins? I'm- Maybe I, I unlocked not a Awakening event pack. Maybe that was like another pack. Dude, honestly, none of this makes sense. I don't know what's going on. But we're gonna open up this last pack. Okay. I was gonna say, like... Wait, what? I'm confused. Do I already- did I already have these items? Wait, is it bugged? Is it just like not giving me this? For some reason? Is- is it bugged? I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna buy another pack, but like... I think it's bugged. Somehow. Sure. I guess we'll buy this. Like, what? Whatever. All right, whatever. We did it. I maybe I'm being dumb. I don't know what happened. Someone explain. Dude, this thing is so sick. I'll I'll show. I'll hide my face. Look at that. Look at this awesome. Look at this. Oof. Clean. Absolutely. So clean. Oh my god. And uh, of course the heirloom. Dude, it's so it's so big. It won't even fit in the screen. It's running off the pages. Suzaku. Love it. It's perfect. I think this is the perfect heirloom for her. I, I wouldn't want... I wouldn't want... I wouldn't have anything else. Anything else, honestly. <laughs> this little viper's got her mom's fangs. Nice. Love it. Let's... Well, um... Well, I guess at this point we're gonna have to take this into the, uh... The thing Bob. Let me swatch, uh, swatch, switch over to Valkyrie, and uh, take a look. Right? Take a look. Take a look at what she's got. Take a look at the goods. Oh my God! What? The uh, sound. Oh my God! That is so cool. I love this. I love this man. The sound, the, the, the sound design for the heirlooms always sound really good. Um, it always seems to fit what they're, uh, what they're, you know, what's, what's happening on the screen. It's very nice. And can I just say something? I, I don't know if a lot of people are going to get this, but it always irritated me that, like, people are like, Oh, uh, Valkyrie should, should have a katana. I'm like, why? And they're like, because she's a Japanese character. I'm like, no, I'm, dude, I'm so glad they didn't go with, like, you know, the stereotypical weapon choice. The spear makes a lot more sense because she's like a flying Wings Valkyrie. Out. Wait, what? When you fly? Look at this. You just use one hand. That's, great. That's, great, That's so cool. Uh. It kind of changes the... Uh, Wings up. Uh, uh, I don't guess. Let's look at these inspect animations. So awesome, dude. 
the ringing. So dope. Okay, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Damn, son. Let me hide my face so I don't, like, cover up the screen too much with this. That is so cool. What the heck? Actually, the heirloom is actually quite center, so my face wasn't blocking much of it. Well, I'll hide my face anyways. Oh my god. I guess I'm gonna have ramen tonight. Jesus. That is so cool. Little phoenix design on there. Very flashy. A little charm, I guess. Man, uh, this is definitely one of the best heirlooms. Definitely. I know I say that for every heirloom that comes out, but they've been like upping their game. Let me see if there's any more uh, animations. There's probably a bunch of animations that I'm missing, but I guess this video is just really to give you a small idea of what to expect. I've only saw maybe like three or four. Dude, ugh. Looks Wings up. pretty nuts. And the animation too is... It kind of reminds me of Revenants with the backswing. Obviously she's got... Wait, what happens when you fly? Yeah, it's okay, so you hold it. Wow! That is pretty slick. Damn. Sick animations, man. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this little showcasing video of the heirloom. If this is anything, anything that I missed, please let me know. But uh, I think we caught, covered like the basic gist of what this heirloom does and what it looks like. But um, yeah, well, I mean, what do, you, what do you guys think of this heirloom? I think it's pretty up there. It's at least A or S tier for me. <clears throat> Maybe I should do another tier list video. It's about that time. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.